kidding. <laughs> um, hey YouTubers, what's up? Um, just coming on to make a quick video. Um, hopefully it'll be quick. I don't know. Um, it's kind of like a controversial subject because it threw me when I heard about it. But um, I just decided to make a quick video. Excuse the mess in my room. Like, <laughs> um, typical girl stuff all over the bed. Sorry. So anyway, um, I was actually watching, um, just going through some YouTube videos, just browsing the web because nothing I was looking at was things that I would normally look at. Um, <clears throat> I want to give a shout out to the nigga with the tattoos. That's his YouTube name. So don't think I'm, you know, just trying to say the word nigga, which I can cause I'm black, but anyway, okay. But, um, he actually, um, has a video called black women are the ugliest women so of course when i saw this me being black i was like whoa there <laughs> what did you say so you know i was like okay wait before i jump to conclusions let me actually watch the video so i went in and watched the video got his take on the whole situation and there was actually a link to a article that he was actually talking about so that's what i'm going to talk about and also um reply to his video so <clears throat> first and foremost the article um was a study that a doctor by the name of dr satoshi kanazawa yeah did um on black women um and basically what it boiled down to was he believed that black women are like the least attractive out of all races which is like a kick in the face to a lot of black women or even races who like black women or black men you know but since we're talking about black women black women um he says that the the physical attractiveness or should i say lack thereof is due to testosterone and genetic mutations and black women are predated women meaning they've been here forever for the most part um but when i think of that statement black women haven't it, it hasn't just been black women who have been here forever like there have been europeans here with us too like let's just put it this way when we were brought to the united states we weren't brought by some black people we were brought by europeans who were white and then when the europeans got here if i'm not mistaken it was some native americans around this joint too so we ain't been we ain't the only outdated or predated race okay so i'll let that go so then i'm thinking okay so what's wrong with having testosterone and genetic mutations let's talk about genetic mutations first the genetic mutations that he's probably <clears throat> bringing up because there weren't there weren't any listed in the article um it was the article is very vague but um okay full lips who doesn't want full lips they have botox injections out now and people getting all kinds of stuff put in their face for them to have full lips okay let that slide um let's just go to the butts um a lot of african-american women for a while were known for having hips and butts and thighs and you know things of that nature um so now People can just go get shots and have a big round butt or get implants to have a fatter derriere. So where's the mutation there? Usually a mutation is something that no one wants to have. Like you got 8,000 fingers on one hand or, you know, something of that nature, like Down syndrome. Down syndrome is a mutation of your DNA. No one, no one wants to have Down syndrome, but I'm not saying that it's a, it's a horrible thing or anything like that, or I'm not talking down about anyone who has, it. I'm just saying that's just an example of a mutation. So <clears throat> my point in saying all that is if it's a mutation, why does everybody want it? Why do you want full lips? Why do you want a bigger butt? Hey, why do you want darker skin? In case you didn't know, tanning beds, you know, aren't something that, you know, that's not a normal thing for somebody to go lay in a hot bed and their skin get dark and get burned just to be darker. That's not normal. That's wanting to be something that you're not dark. Um, and excuse me for having melanin in my skin and not aging like you do. 
I can't control that. Like, God made me the way he made me for a reason. I don't know what that reason is. Talk to him. That's all I can say. Um, so then he goes to the next step. And he gets a panel of people to rate black women. So, again, the article is very vague. It doesn't say the diversity of the people on the panel. It just says he had people on the panel to be like, oh, she's ugly. Oh, she's ugly. So, how do you do a scientific experiment and all of your stuff is biased? Okay. So, um, someone who wrote the article um, basically at the end gave like a little summary they were saying that what he <clears throat> what he had brought forth was pretty much labeled as pseudoscience meaning pseudo meaning false um you can't take what you you've i guess come up with in your scientific experiment and label it as science that's not science that's just your opinion um there is no sound evidence to link what you're saying to being an actual theory or an actual law no that's just that ain't even a theory. It's clearly an opinion. Um, and beauty is perception. Like, for instance, this guy may think that the girl with the muffin top body is sexy. Why this dude thinks that he should probably go to Starbucks and get a muffin. Because she looks like a muffin. But, you know, beauty is an eye of the beholder. Um, but I can say one thing. Since this article was put up. Um, as of June 1st, 2011, this so-called doctor has been fired. Oh, right. that's what you get running your mouth. And it was probably a black woman that fired you too. <laughs> Check it. No, I'm playing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'll put a link to the, um, article and you can take a look at it for yourself and, you know, comment on this video actually post up a video of what you think if you think black women aren't attractive hey say black women aren't attractive you're not gonna hurt my feelings guess what i've been black for 24 years and i'm gonna die black so i really have no choice <laughs> um i pretty much have to accept it for what it is just saying um if you feel asian women are more beautiful fine go with that it seems like honestly like from what i look around and see most black black men are evidently feel like black women aren't that attractive they're going with white women and asian women and you know every other race but black women and i've actually heard black men say they would never date a black woman it has nothing to do with her skin color he usually says it's because she nags but that's a whole nother whole nother video but at any rate um like i said please subscribe please comment get back at me peace